Hello, my name is Kendra Gibson. I'm a community nutrition instructor with Michigan State University Extension. And I'm starting to think about spring and gardening. Many of you might have children or grandchildren living with you right now. And so I wanted to share with you some things that you could do really low cost with things that you already have in your home. I've started to put on my recycle hat in the last couple of weeks. So I've been saving things like egg cartons. Maybe you have some juice containers, some cans. Also, maybe popsicle sticks or some old plastic silverware. I'll be giving you lots of ideas of things that you can do with that. In the meantime, start collecting any paint brushes that you have, any markers, any old paints, and we will start to put those things together. I even looked in some of my drawers. I had saved some milkweed from last year because I was interested in attracting some monarch butterflies this coming year. And so I'm anxious to get those into the ground, but maybe you have some old packs of seeds that didn't get used up. And even though it's you know, ideally better to buy new seeds, you still can sometimes get germination from these old seeds. So especially if you're doing activities with your children, that's a good way to play around. So look around, see if you have anything like that in your house. What I would like to share with you today is two garden craft ideas. Um, because the kids that I work with in my programming, they love to make their garden space beautiful. Gardens are beautiful anyway on their own, but they love to have something to call their own. So the first thing that I um, saved was some of these yogurt containers. And if you have anything like terracotta pots around, you could also use something like this. Uh, for this activity. We are gonna be creating a toad house. Did you ever think that you were interested in that? Well, uh, let me tell you, they eat a lot of bugs and they are great to have around. So what I did was I painted this container white so the words aren't on it, and I cut a doorway into my toad house. And if you're using a terracotta pot, you would just use a hammer and you know break that up so that you have your little doorway. And then I started to create some decoration. You could glue things on if you have a hot glue gun or some really good adhesive. Uh, maybe you have some marbles or some rocks that your child would want to glue on. You can paint, you can use markers. And so I've just put some sky and clouds on the top and some flowers around the bottom and my little doorway. Once you get ready to put it out in your garden area, just clear a space that is about the circumference of this container, sink it down, and then push the, the dirt away from the doorway so that your toad can crawl in there where it's nice and cool and moist. Because this is plastic, you might want to put a rock on top just to keep it anchored. So that is a really fun idea and it's fun to check every day just to see. You might get a toad, but you also might get a lizard or something like that. The second idea that I have for you that's totally free and it's fun to go hunting is a rock bug. And you can create a rock bug any color, you can do butterflies, you can line rocks up and do a caterpillar. This is a purple ladybug. Um, but again, the sky's the limit. If you have um, those craft eyes that move, you could stick those on. I just painted mine on, but you could get as creative as you want. Rock painting is super popular right now and kids love doing that. And the great thing is every year you could repaint this rock and recreate it. So um, if you have something like a clear coat that you can spray on these, they might last a little bit longer, but you don't need that. You can always paint over your creation and make it new again. I hope that as the sun comes out, you get inspired to go out with your grandchild or your children, find some rocks, save some of your recyclables and start to think about creating some really fun garden art. So we have been talking about gardening and this is my garden bug that I painted the other day. So these garden snacks kind of go along with that. And again, these are just with things that I had at home, but you could use a lot of different fruits and vegetables and get really creative. And then you are gonna be using celery today as your base for your bugs.
And so I chose a couple different things to put on to my bugs. Um, this uh, I put garbanzo beans on and I happen to have chives growing out in my garden right now. So how simple is that? Just to put the cream cheese mixture on, um, line up your garbanzo beans, put your antennas on. Garbanzo beans are low fat, they're high fiber, and they're inexpensive. I usually keep cans of garbanzo beans around just to put them on my salads. Sometimes I make hummus with them. So they're a great option and they might taste different to your child having the dip in combination with them. Switching gears, if your child is not maybe as open to vegetables or maybe the garbanzo beans are a little bit iffy or unfamiliar, you can also use peanut butter, which is a great option on celery. Probably most of you have had that before. And so that is super simple. There's no preparation for that. So I put some peanut butter on my celery. I cut my grapes in half. If you have younger children, grapes can be a choking risk. So that's a good idea to cut your carrots and your grapes in smaller pieces so they don't have difficulty chewing them. And again, you could decorate this however you wanted. And then the last thing I did was a um, butterfly. And I had some frozen blueberries and then I cut up some apple slices to make the wings, if you can see that. Thank you so much for your time. Have fun in the kitchen this week. So good to see you.